Oi vey, you guys. I'm at the end of a seven day stretch of work days. I made it. I'm like, I'm about to pass away. I'm like, dude, so tired. Um, yeah, I've been on a seven day in a row stretch at work, but I have tomorrow off and the next day and tomorrow I don't even have a post in the morning that I have to write. So I get to just chill and do whatever I want. It's been kind of warm here. So I might, I might wander the woods. I haven't gotten out there in a few weeks. It's also been like really rainy and then I've been working a ton. So I just, I really need to get out in nature. I need to chill. I need to have a bath. I need to just have a day where I don't have any adulting to do. And it's great. I don't have to cook tomorrow. I don't really have to go to like grocery shop. Like I have a couple of things that I need to go pick up, but no big deal. So I'm so excited. But we're here for our midweek extended reading on this morning's message from Instagram. If you are interested, you can find me at Liz underscore Taylor underscore magic on Instagram or light love magic like the channel. But I just, I do more personal things on my um, Liz Taylor magic page. All right, so I, I really like the feel of the message. It really is just following right in line with everything else that we've been, you know, guided with so far this week, which is just keeping those, those thoughts and that, that, that mind chatter clear and touching base regularly with source and making a regular prayer practice and just leaning on source for that comfort, that nurturing, all of our resources, knowing that it's not the job, it's not the lover, it's not the parent, it's not the friend that's going to give you the fulfillment, you know? It's really the light that gives you the fulfillment. And we get caught up in the vessel that it shows up in, but really at the end of the day, what we want is the light. The light that is revealed within the vessel that we you know, obtain in a material sense. But really, the light is always there for us to connect to. And when we realize that we've been projecting the illusion onto the thing, instead of knowing that it's the light, the thing isn't the thing, the light is the thing. The, th the thing just delivers like a little packet of light. But when we realize that what we really want, the fulfillment, what the fulfillment really is, is that process of connecting to the divine source when everything is just all in alignment. And it's just that blessing and that favor and that grace that you're connected in and you feel certain and you feel peace inside and you feel satisfied and you feel that everything is all in its place. That is the fulfillment that we're seeking. And so it's not in the thing that you think is going to give you that. I mean, yeah, the thing will be temporarily, really, it'll give you temporary relief. It'll give you temporary excitement. But some things, I mean, sometimes we even like our dreams come true. And when they do, we're like, oh, I thought that this was going to make a difference. I thought this was going to make me feel different or make my life different. And we realize that it didn't. You know, so many famous people have that where they're like, oh, I, you know, I got like these big movie deals and, you know, I got all this money and this fame and then I realized that like it wasn't satisfying at all. It wasn't, you know, sort of like a one night stand, you know, it's like you think you need to scratch this itch, but then once you get there, I mean, yeah, in the moment it's fine, but then it's over and then what? <laughs> you're back to nothing. <laughs> and then it's almost worse than when you started because you're like, then you feel the lack. And then you're like, oh, well, now I'm going to, it's like when you, you know, you snack on like some junk food and it doesn't really give you any nourishment. You're hungry again like five minutes later. It's a waste of calories. It's kind of the, the deal. Okay, so our cards for today before we get too sidetracked. Out of the Vintage Wisdom Oracle deck, we pulled Intention. We pulled Faith. And we pulled love, followed by our tarot cards, which were six of swords, ace of swords, and king of cups that was stuck with nine of wands. So I th I'm reading those together as a pair. All right, so let's unpack. 
So, overall, I think it's important that we go beneath the mind chatter, drop in to the silence and the quiet and the stillness with deep within our heart. Find that peace, and then from there, recalibrate, ground, center, and focus your intention on thinking, like setting your mind to think thoughts that reflect what you want to create. Set your intention to watch your words so that you're speaking things that you want to call in and not saying things in a way that is something that you would not want to call in because our words are putting out orders to the universe, right? So we need to set an intention that our mind, our thoughts, and our words are aligned with what we want in our heart of hearts, with our desire, with our intentions. So we need to refocus our intentions and strengthen them and deepen them because it's really the desire that fuels the manifestation. That's what gives us the, the chutzpah to do whatever it takes to, do, to get the thing done, to call the thing in, to accomplish this dream, right? This pursuit. So get clear on your intentions. Have absolute faith that even faith beyond reason, beyond seeing to believe, believe before you see, but hold on to that faith that everything is falling into place, that divine has a plan, that creator is involved in every cell and particle of the universe. So the, man, the universe itself is a manifestation of the light. And so all the parts and pieces are working to come into place for your highest good. But sometimes things that we don't expect have to play out in a certain way. Things that we, you know, that, may, that put us outside of our comfort zone or that we weren't expecting have to play out a certain way. This is for our growth. But if we can trust that no matter what the appearances are, that we can have the certainty that everything can fall into place and everything, no matter how bleak it looks, can still play out for our highest good and, and play out in our favor, then that makes way for the miracle and it can. Because our thoughts, right? Our words, our beliefs, that's what's creating our reality. We're co-creating with source. So have the faith in this dark moment, right? The, I like that this girl is like kind of surrounded by this shadow. And to, uh, to be magnetic, before your manifestation comes in, you're in a period of time called the magic dark where you're waiting and it doesn't look like anything's going to happen. Like it's just crickets. And in that time, you might be tempted to backslide. You might be tempted to reach for some of your old anesthetizing habits Call up that old warm body that'll come over, you know, that booty call. You might get tempted to settle for less than what you really truly want and settle for less than you deserve and settle for less than you're worth, but don't because this is the initiation. The initiation is to test your faith and the depth of your, the depth of your, um, your self worth. And so know that you're worth having the, the desires of your heart, they were given to you for a reason and just believe that things are working out and they are coming and they're falling into place and it's practically a done deal, right? Love is in development. There's been so many cards lately that have to do with this. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's some romantic developments in your life soon, but in order to um, prep the stage for that, you just need to be in love with yourself and in love with life, in love with your life specifically. So create the life that you want to be living in, the life that fills you up with love in your heart. And in, as far as consciousness goes, we can either be in one of two states at any given time. We're either in a state of fear or we're in a state of love. So we need to choose to cultivate our mind and our heart with feelings and thoughts of love, with assumptions based on love, with compassion, with generosity, with grace, and have that kind of that faith that you choose to have. It's called Amuna. It's it's faith beyond reason. And it's it's a practice. You have to really choose it. So when those doubts creep in, you have to pray. 
give those doubts away. I am choosing to see this differently. I, I know this is a, an uncertain time, but this is a time that is meant to happen for me so that I can strengthen my faith and certainty, right? So, believe that the universe is good. Believe that God loves you. Believe that God wants exciting, wonderful, fulfilling things for you, right? That belief is going to help align you with that. All right, now let's look at these in context with the cards. So we had intention anchored by Six of Swords. Six of Swords is a card of victory. It's a card of coming out of a difficult period or situation. It's a card that says the worst is behind you and new beginnings are on the horizon. Sixes are the second phase of completion. Oh, that's another thing that I was going to say about the faith and this like magic dark. It's also the same as creation phase three. We've been talking about creation phases one, two, three, and four that I've learned through Kabbalah. And in phase three, it looks as if you've done everything that you can. You've put yourself out there. You took the risk. You know, you went against all odds and it was supposed to work out and it just looks like it's all gonna blow up in your face. And at that moment, you're being asked to have the faith that will give you the character to push through and still put yourself out there and still give and still share and still make the effort. Come hell or high water, you're like, it's, I'm in it now. I'm in it and I'm doing this regardless of what the outcome is, regardless of if there's ever a payoff. I'm just gonna do it anyway. And that faith is what helps crystallize the manifestation and, 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 brought, and draw it through and bring it through. So set your intentions based on the assumption that the worst is behind you and that success is ahead of you, that you have a new situation on the horizon that is starting to materialize for you. This is a peaceful, more prosperous time coming and you're moving out of a difficult period so you still feel that sense of urgency like someone's gaining on you and you have to like outrun this, these problems, these shadows, but don't. Instead, let go of that dread and that like looking over your shoulder and instead just set your intention for the energy that you are creating and calling in now. Leave the past behind you. All right. Now, anchoring faith was Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is having like an epiphany, a lightning strike moment where you're like, oh, I see it all so clearly now. This is a new mental landscape, a new mindset. So I think with faith, it's like we're learning how to decide within ourselves to choose mind over matter. Self-mastery, it starts in the mind because the mind creates, you know, it can wreak havoc in your imagination. Your imagination can run wild. Then it stirs up emotions. Then you're making, then it like turns into moods and then mindsets. And generally it becomes kind of like how you are. So really be careful. But right now it's like we're being supported and you may have felt this. You may have just felt like, wow, I can just just seeing things differently or you feel like you're getting so much more clarity like things are just like things that were weighing on your mind they're just you're not as worried about it anymore well that is a practice that is something that you don't just choose to do it once but you keep choosing that and the more that you do it the better the stronger your muscle gets and the, and the easier it gets bit by bit but I think that we are having like this breakthrough in our faith. And I think that it's feeling almost like it's coming a little bit easier to us. Or we're starting to see this pattern playing out of how like we really do get positive results when we have um, the kind of energy like where we can expect a positive 
situation to play out ahead of us. You know, we're in a good mindset. We're let go. We're released. We're not holding on or like, you know, gripping white knuckled to anything. We're not trying to control the situation. We're just relaxed and we're like, okay, let the chips fall where they may, right? So have faith and certainty in the light. Let your doubts fall to the wayside right? Set your intention and just know that things are improving and things are getting better. And the more you clean up your outlook, the more you clean up your thoughts, even better. Things are going to get even better for you. And then anchored underneath love, which this is Aphrodite, by the way, she's playing a lute and this is a dove, if any of those things are significant for you. But so underneath this, we had the nine of wands and the king of cups the nine of wands is all about fighting your patterns it's about trying to overcome the patterns that have held you back those blocks and so when you get to the nine it's like oh god i'm so tired but you're like just just a little bit further right you're all you've almost broken this you're almost there but you're, you're, you are feeling tired, but it's just like, just find it within yourself. Find the strength, the perseverance to push through and break this pattern. Now, the pattern has got to do with the, the King of Cups. The King of Cups' thing is this. The King of Cups feels very deeply, and he's very sincere and very genuine and even committed, but he has this issue where he doesn't show his feelings. Like he really keeps them hidden. Uh, maybe he doesn't talk about his feelings a lot, but he does feel very deeply. So the challenge for the king is to be able to express himself um, and express his emotions in order to avoid being thought of as stoic because he can really come off as stoic, right? So not only is it um, the king's challenge to communicate and show his feelings more, but this king, he's come through a journey of learning how to be comfortable with his emotions and feel them without letting them completely take over him. So the king maybe has gone back and forth between trying to feel nothing, trying to anesthetize because the feelings get so deep that they completely consume him. And so now... Part of that self-mastery and part of that change of mindset and that like uh, mental discipline is helping the king balance those feelings. Now the king can actually like explore his feelings and feel them without being completely taken over. Like he's found some solid ground to sit on even amidst all of this depth. Um, but now the last piece of the puzzle is just being able to show, express his feelings more. Um, the swords are not only about thoughts, but about communication, right? So it's about communicating the feelings. So we're breaking this pattern of holding it all in, holding back, trying to control by withholding, right? It's about showing how you feel, um, finding strength and vulnerability um, when it's appropriate, right? Okay, guys, so I feel like the pattern has to do with our love life. The pattern has to do with being comfortable with the depths that our love can go, maybe. Um, being comfortable to open up our heart again to love. Maybe we've had it closed off for a while. Maybe we've been healing. Uh, maybe we've been healing from past breakups or... Um, you know, past patterning that has always affected our relationships and maybe we're finally able to overcome those now, right? Maybe we finally learned what was what was at the underneath the the, the turmoil. Um yeah and I would say push yourself to be a little bit more expressive about how you feel. Um, because maybe you think that you wear your heart on your sleeve, but maybe no one else sees that. Maybe you, you're not showing how you feel at all. And maybe you think you are, but maybe other people are like, I don't know. They're like poker face. I have no idea what they're feeling. It's a food for thought. All right, you guys, we're getting in under a cool 20 minutes here. <laughs> Yay. I am so excited. I'm going to eat dinner 
I'm gonna chill, I'm going to watch some episodes of something, and then I'm gonna have a fun day tomorrow, and I'm just gonna chill and not do anything. I love it, I'm so excited. All right, you guys, ciao.